everyone welcome to my channel and um, today's video is titled introduction to veterinary pathology but before we start please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you won't miss any of my future videos okay so let's start by um, defining the word pathology so pathology is um, derived from two Greek words pathos meaning disease and logos meaning study so just as um, anatomy is the study of the body structures and physiology is the study of the body functions pathology is the study of the structure and function of the body in disease okay so the um, pathology is um, divided into general pathology and systemic pathology general pathology is mainly concerned with how body cells and tissues react to an injury while um systemic pathology is the study of disease as they occur in each system in the body okay so for now my videos will be based on the basic principles of general pathology okay let's move on to the definition of some terms that are commonly used in veterinary pathology number one is disease disease is um, a very common term it's a very common term and it's actually a latin word this which means not plus is that is not at ease when the animal suffers from discomfort the animal is said to be diseased number two etiology etiology simply means the cause of a disease um, etiologic factors are of two classes genetic factors um, which can also be referred to as intrinsic or internal or endogenous factors the animal is born with it next one is um acquired factors which can also be referred to as extrinsic external or exogenous um these ones are factors that the animal is not born with the animal gets it either through um feed or water or air or soil number three um pathogenesis so this is a progressive development of a disease process from the time the disease is initiated in the animal body to the end of the disease either in um, recovery or death okay the next one is lesion lesions are simply changes that um that are that occur in an animal tissue as a result of injury to the animal tissue and these changes can be visible or invisible the visible changes are called um, gross lesions while the invisible changes are called microscopic lesions so the difference between these two is that the gross lesions can be seen without the aid of a microscope just merely by looking at the animal tissue you'll be able to see the changes that um, that are not normal then why the microscopic lesions um, for you to see them you have to use a microscope okay so um, there are lesions that um, indicates particularly the cause of a specific disease so these um, lesions are called pathognomic lesions when you see them you know that um, this is a, this this is a, this is specific to this disease okay number five symptom symptom is a clinical sign example um you have fever swelling um diarrhea uh, vomiting and lameness um shown by an animal as the result of tissue changes so when the animal tissue is changing the animal begins to exhibit some clinical signs as a result of the tissue changes so number six is diagnosis diagnosis means to know disease states through clinical signs so lesions will result in um, 
symptoms which will lead to a diagnosis. So the next one, number seven, is um, prognosis. Prognosis means knowing beforehand the chances of um, recovery of an animal from a disease. To know beforehand if the animal is going to recover from this disease or not. The next one is um, microscopic or gross pathology, which is the examination of an animal tissue without the help of a microscope. Uh, the next one is microscopic pathology or list pathology, which is the examination of an animal tissue with the help of a microscope. I think the difference is clear. Um, microscopic, you need a microscope and no, sorry, my, macroscopic, you don't need a microscope, then microscopic, you need a microscope. Number 10, postmortem examination. Postmortem examination is um, the examination of an animal body after the death of the animal to know the cause of the animal disease, to know the cause of the death of the animal, sorry. Um, if um, examination of um, postmortem examination of dead animals or pets is termed um, necropsy, while um, postmortem examination of dead humans is termed autopsy. So um, changes found in tissues of a dead animal during necropsy are called morbid changes. They are not called lesions. They are called morbid changes. Number 12, biopsy. Biopsy is the um, examination of tissues removed from a living animal. Example is skin biopsy. So back to necropsy. Necropsy is the examination of a dead animal. You're examining the tissues in um, the dead animal to know the cause of the disease. Why um, biopsy is done on living animals? Necropsy is done on dead animals. Number 13, syndrome. Syndrome um, simply means a running together. So it's, it's, it refers to a group of symptoms that occur together and characterize a certain disease. When we talked about symptoms, we said that symptoms are clinical signs. Example, we have the swelling, lameness, diarrhea etc that are shown by an animal as a result of um, changes in the tissue of the animal so when um, a group of symptoms occur together and characterize a certain disease they are called um, syndrome okay so next one oncology oncology is the study of cancer it can also be ref cancer can also be called um tumor or neoplasm. Okay, so let's talk about recovery, death, and invalidism. Um, if um damage produced by the disease in an animal tissue is not so great, is not so much, is not extreme, the body of the animal tissue is able to repair the damage and the animal recovers but um if the 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 tissue damage is so great that the body of the animal cannot be able to repair the damages then the animal dies and then if the body of the animal is not so able to completely repair the damage caused by the disease to the tissue and the extent of the injury is not so great as to kill the animal, invalidism occurs. And as a result of this, the animal continues to suffer from prolonged ill health. Okay, so we are done with terminologies of, um, common terminologies of um, veterinary medicine. These are not all the terms used in veterinary pathology, but these are the most common ones that you always meet. Okay, so now let's look at um, some branches of veterinary pathology. Um, 
we have the immunopathology, cytopathology, forensic pathology, toxopathology, chemical pathology, and um, clinical pathology. Okay, so pathology covers five aspects of a disease process. Number one, etiology, the cause of the, di the disease. Um, number two, pathogenesis, the progressive development of the disease. Number three, morphological changes, the signs um, and symptoms and lesions produced by the disease. Um, then clinical significance, the diagnosis and prognosis of the disease. The results or termination, whether the animal will recover or die or become invalid. Okay, so that's it for today. And I hope you all enjoyed watching this video as I did creating this video for you. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share your thoughts in the comments below. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Bye.